everybody. I hope your day is going well. Today's story I will be reading The Harbor Light, written and illustrated by Eric Walls. High on a cliff by the ocean, at the entrance to a harbor, stood a little lighthouse. He loved to spend the day looking at all the wonderful sights around him. Wow, the lighthouse said. I wish I could play all day too. But being a lighthouse, he always had to keep his light shining so that all the boats could find their way to safely to the harbor. If only I didn't have to keep my light on, he thought, then I could have fun too. After thinking it over, he said to himself, what would it hurt if I turned off my light for just a little while so when no one was looking, click, he turned off his light. Oh, how wonderful, he thought. Now I can do what I want. But at that moment, he heard a familiar voice. Lighthouse, what's wrong with your light? It was the friendly lighthouse keeper who always made sure the lighthouse was working well. Oh, nothing, the lighthouse said, quickly turning his light back on. Lighthouse, the keeper said, you must always keep your light on so that the boats can find their way to the harbor. I'm sorry, sir, the lighthouse replied. It won't happen again. You can count on me. After the keeper left, the lighthouse thought about what he had done, but then suddenly he heard a noise. A speedboat moved through the water with ease, jumping over the waves and doing tricks in the air. The lighthouse had never seen anything so exciting. Hello, the lighthouse called to the boat. How do you do those amazing tricks? They're easy, answered the boat in an angry voice. He did not like being bothered by the lighthouse. I thought we could be friends, the lighthouse said to the boat. The boat laughed. Friends? I could never be friends with someone who always shines that silly light. But the boats need to find their way to the harbor, said the lighthouse. The harbor? Laughed the boat. I don't need a harbor or your silly light. I can take care of myself. The lighthouse was embarrassed, but he really wanted to be friends with the boat. Would you stay if I turned my light off? Well, the boat said, I might if you promise to keep it off. I promise. After making sure no one else was looking, he turned off his light again. Now the boat, being a little bit mean, had only pretended to be the lighthouse's friend. He thought it would be fun to get that lighthouse into trouble. How about you doing a trick, the boat said. I don't think I can, the, boat, the lighthouse said shyly. Drew a trick or I'll leave, the boat insisted. After the lighthouse thought for a moment about what trick he could do to impress the boat, he said, watch this. The lighthouse leaped high into the air with all his might. But when he landed, crash, the boat just laughed at the sight. What happened? The lighthouse keeper called as he ran to investigate the noise. Oh, nothing much, the lighthouse said, trying to appear calm. But you're broken, the keeper said. What were you doing? Just a little trick, the lighthouse replied. It's no big deal. My light still works. After struggling a moment, he clicked his light back on. See, the keeper looked really worried. Lighthouse? You weren't made for that type of activity, he said. Oh, it really isn't that bad, the lighthouse replied. Most 
most of me is in one piece. But you must do your job with your whole self, the keeper said. If part of you is broken, the rest of you won't work as well as it should. With that, the keeper left. The lighthouse thought about the, what the keeper said, but he still wanted the boat to like him. So when the keeper was out of sight, he turned off his light once more. Oh boy, the boat laughed. He acts like you did something terrible. Yeah, the lighthouse said, he always worries too much. Yeah, the boat replied, let's some, have some real fun now. Watch this. The boat moved quickly towards a pair of dolphins. Whoosh! They jumped out of the way just in time. The lighthouse laughed and laughed. That was funny, the lighthouse said. Now it's my turn. He looked around and saw a group of seagulls flying towards him. Watch this, he whispered to the boat as he hid from the birds. Boo! Crash! At first the lighthouse laughed, but then he saw what he had done. I'm sorry, he said to the seagulls. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Please come back. I was just having a little fun. But the seagulls were too frightened and they flew away. You don't actually care about them, do you? The boat asked. I just didn't mean to hurt them, replied the lighthouse sadly. Who cares, said the boat, turning to leave. I thought you were going to be cool, but you're no fun at all. Soon the boat was out of sight, and the lighthouse was all alone and very sad. A few hours, dark storm clouds began to roll in, and the waves grew big. The lighthouse knew his light wouldn't be needed in such a terrible storm, but when he tried to turn it back on, it wouldn't work. Oh no, he said to himself, I broke it. What am I going to do now? He knew that the little boat must be lost out on the stormy sea. As the rain poured down, the lighthouse felt helpless. That boat needs your help, said a familiar voice. It was the lighthouse keeper. Someone else will have to save him, said the boat quietly. My lighthouse is broken. It's still there if you believe, said the keeper. But you must never hide it again. Always keep it shiny and bright. That boat will be lost. You will show him the way. The keeper is right, he thought. It's my job to guide the boats to safety. But my light is broken. Or was it? He was so very much wanted his light to shine again. So he concentrated with all his heart and with all his might. And suddenly, zoom! Far away, the stormy waves tossed the boat about. He was so afraid. But then he saw the light. He was saved! And so, following the light, he found his way to the harbor. The boat was ashamed of how he treated the lighthouse. I'm really sorry, the boat said. Can you ever forgive me for being so mean? Oh yes, the lighthouse replied. I am sorry too. I never should have done anything to harm my light. Now come into the harbor, said the lighthouse. You'll be safe there. So the little boat happily entered the harbor. I'm sorry, said the lighthouse to the keeper. I should have listened to you. Now I know why it's so important to keep my light working. And remember, said the keeper, always let your light shine so that others may see it and follow it to safety. Oh yes, said the lighthouse. I'll never hide my light again. And he never did. Well done, lighthouse, said the keeper. Well done. Thank you for watching, kids.